Mm-hmm. Then if you can combine the two and... Yeah. So you just say, you use the word beauty there, and I'm struck. I mean, Polkinghorne uses this word as, as, a, as a mathematical physicist. He talks about the elegance and beauty of m- mathematical equations, and that the that one of the, uh, I, think if, if I'm, I think I'm not misrepresenting him, one of the indications of the truth of a of mathematical hypothesis uh, is its beauty. You know, if it's a very ugly um, mm. equation, this is an indicator that it's probably not true. It's not accurate. It's not actually going to work. And I thought, how interesting that aesthetic considerations like that actually factor in his evaluation of mathematical formula. And nevertheless, that's what he said, I think. Absolutely. And and simplicity mm. of uh, mathematical equations or physical equations is held in very high regard. The right. reason Einstein... Einstein's not only correct, but he's beautiful. I, I studied general relativity. His, his construction, his ability to essentially describe gravity in four lines... Or four yeah. equations. Or, 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 e equals mc squared is an incredibly yeah, the, the, beautiful, tiny little statement. Exactly, exactly. The this is what I'm referring to. It's how do you want to view the world, and it is. It has to be a desire, right? There isn't. I think people have this conception that all oh, science is somehow objective. No, it has inherently a way of looking at the world. And it forces you to look at a world a certain way. But you can choose to see the signs or see it as coincidence. You know, the human being is not separate from the science. The way we look at the world yeah. is, is inbuilt into the way we describe it. And, yeah. and this is why I think Muslims don't have as much Muslim scientists Abdus Salam was a very famous scientist at Imperial College who got the Nobel Prize for discover, uh, for unifying the electro uh, uh, the weak force um, with the electromagnetic force, I believe. He was a, a devout Muslim, and and Muslims don't have such an issue because I think really what's happened is there's a disenchantment in the West with religion. Well, firstly with Christianity, and that's been put out to all religion. 